Hello everybody, my name's Rory and welcome back to Five Bed Outdoors. Today I'm doing something a little bit different from my usual uh, bushcrafting stuff. I'm currently down in beautiful sunny Dorset, as you can see. It's an absolutely stunning week. I've been down here for the last couple of days just uh, fishing around here. And right now I'm just heading down to a point called uh, Seacombe Cliffs. Uh, which I've heard is very good for catching big fish. Um, so it's now uh, 6 p.m. Um, so I've, yeah, over the last few days I've been uh, sort of testing the waters. Um, I've been fishing like different times of the day, and um, and speaking to different uh, people with different fish tackles, getting advice, and uh, they've suggested that dusk or sort of late in the afternoon is a good time to come. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just heading down this lovely hilly pathway. It should take me about 20 minutes to get to the cliff. And yeah, we'll uh, fish from there and uh, see how it goes. Wish me luck. Right, so it's just down there where I'm heading, you see the white cliffs there, that is Seacombe Cliffs, you just need to find a way to get to it. Right, so that down there is where I'm trying to get to, those rocky outlets, and uh, yeah, this is the path to it. I mean, isn't this just stunning? This just goes to show you what uh, you can enjoy in your own country rather than going abroad. It's absolutely sweltering and breathtaking views at the same time. Can't complain at all. I can see a uh, gathering of uh, seagulls just offshore there, which is a good sign. That says to me that there's fish out there. So I've just come down into this little uh, valley bit. Definitely could have camped it, I'm sure. So I'm just going to get myself uh, set up, get my rod together, get my uh, lure on. I'm uh, lure fishing today, so I've um, yeah, got various uh, lures, but hopefully you should get some uh, predatory fish. I'm hoping for something like mackerel, uh, maybe a sea bass, uh, pollock, anything like that. Anything I can take home and cook up. So I'm set up. So what I've got here is a uh, Shakespeare Firebeard mackerel rod, uh, quarter weight ounces. Uh, the line is the main line is 20 pound monofilament, and then I've got a, about a seven foot of uh, 20 pound fluoro leader. And then on the end here, I've just got a uh, little sand eel. Look. So hopefully, just get this in the water and see how it goes. I've uh, set up my sort of station quite far back from the water. I've, I've done that just so in case the tide just starts to come in. Um, I've got some time to sort myself out and move back if I need to. When I, when I always, when I use a new um, hook that's barbed, I always use a pair of pliers and uh, crimp down the barb, just so that if I do catch something, I don't do cause too much damage before I see if it's legal size or, you know, whatever. I don't like to do too much damage, so I'm just gonna crimp that down. So it's flat, and the barb shouldn't 
cause too much damage on the next fish I catch. The way I'm going to work this, I'm just going to work right to left because I'm backwards like that. So I'm just going to start here, sort of fish my way along and then make my way back again to see what I can get. I've had a few casts, nothing yet. I've literally just began, so fishing is a patience game. Uh, so I am here now, hopefully going to stay here until dusk, until the sun goes down. And I'm just going to keep plugging away, moving around. Yeah, just enjoy myself. Hopefully I'll catch something, Hope, maybe not, but it's all uh, luck of the draw. First catch of the day and I bloody miss it on camera. But I've caught a little pollock here. I'm just gonna measure it to see uh, if it's legal. And if it is, oh shit. Okay, I'll deal with him in a second. If he's legal, I'll be taking him. Right, so I'm just gonna measure him. 36, legal is 30. So he's legal. So I didn't film me uh Priesting the fish, uh, but he's now out and he'll be coming back with me for dinner. Oh, yeah, an absolute beauty! First catch of the trip. Here's to many more, I hope. I think that calls for a uh, celebratory beer, albeit a warm one. Cheers. First catch. Right, so there was some luck. Hopefully, I'll uh, catch another. I guess I'll be filming every catch I get now. Okay, so because the tide is actually going out a bit, I'm using a heavier lure that sh should cast further. Um, this is a little um, shiny silver lure with a triple hook. Again, I've compressed all the barbs down so it's not barbed. This is another little, uh, little one, but far too small, so he is going back. 
it's one of those nights where it's just full moon, coast, absolutely stunning. I'm sure this camera won't do it justice, but it is incredible. One more close. if you can see me anymore but it's getting quite dark now filming is probably going to be quite difficult to do uh, so I'm just going to fish here for a little bit longer and then I'll head back up to the car park right so I'm now back in my car I've just um, got back here after walking back from the uh, cliffs it took me about 20 minutes to get back um, very lovely moonlit stroll didn't need a torch or anything um, I did however stumble across this uh, Field full of uh, cows which uh, appeared out of nowhere sort of uh, spooked me up a bit so I had a really good uh, session down there this afternoon I was there for about from about 7.30 probably till about 10 uh, so a good few hours and you know I caught two fish uh, one big pollock as you saw which I'm uh, taking home unfortunately I didn't get that recorded which is sod's law uh, the one that I did catch on video is a was a little one who um, got returned. Uh, but yes, all in all, a grand success. I have a fish, um, which is the main aim of the uh, trip down here. Um, I will be going back there tomorrow night because it was such an idyllic spot. And um, well, yeah, if, if I scored there once, I'll score there again. Um, but yeah, so because it is quite late now, it's 11 p.m., I'm just going to return to camp now. I'm going to stick the fish on ice in a cool box for the night and then I'm going to cook them up tomorrow. Uh, it's a bit too dark and too late to be uh, cooking anything now. Uh, plus there's other people at the campsite so I don't want to disturb them. But um, yeah, it's been a lovely evening and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's now the morning. The uh, fish has been on ice overnight in a cooler, so it's nice and refrigerated. The meat is all firmed up nicely. First thing I'm going to do before I... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fillet the fish um, and then cook that up. But yeah, first I'm going to start by descaling it. So, just with the edgy and I scrape towards the front of the fish against the way the scales go. So you get nice scales on like that. Do both sides. find the anal cavity. In fact, first I'm going to take off the fin. And then just behind this fin, back here, is the anal cavity. So I'm just going to go into that and then work my way up the belly. Right, so in there are all the guts, I'm just going to reach in. Right, so I've now gutted the fish, as you can see. Now I'm going to fillet the fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just behind the front fin. And then I'm going to come all the way down the back, like so. This is with a very sharp filleting or butcher's knife. Fill it, keep it close.
close to the ribs. I'm going to go back for the other side. Same again, just behind the fin, down to the spine. So yep, yeah, that's the uh, carcass filleted. Okay, so here we have two lovely trimmed fillets. There is some little bits of bone in there. In fact, I will just uh, try and remove those to make a little V cut around them. So that's not a very stable table. This. Slope as well, it doesn't help. Right, so I'm not going to overly season these, I'm just going to give them a bit of salt and pepper and some oil. skin and then just got some uh, sunflower oil here just gonna lightly It's about three quarters on the skin and the last quarter on the flesh side. Yeah, I'm just going to give it about a few minutes. Right, so I'm just flipping over for the last. I'll only do it on the side for like 30 seconds. Maybe even less. Have it. Two fried fillets of pollock. Right, so that's it all cooked up. Let's dig in. Got 
Oh wow, that is amazing. That is lovely. Mm. Hand caught. I mean, self caught. Pollock. Filleted. And fried. Bloody lovely. Well, that was a bloody success. Very, very, very tasty. And tastes even better because I caught it myself. Uh, so I will be going back to the same spot tonight, hopefully. Um, should hopefully catch some more. Maybe something different, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.